G'day everyone, just for a quick update for the K177 project here and we'll update you on a few things and progressions that have happened with the project. We're currently doing the boiler condition assessment of this boiler for K177. The ultrasonic thickness testing of the entire external and internal surface of the boiler is completed. Uh, we've collated all the results and now we're assessing them against the original design to see how much corrosion there is. Um, so an important milestone. Um, once we work out how much corrosion there is, we'll communicate with the boiler inspector and see what the next steps are uh, for the boiler and the boiler repair. We're continuing to build our team and the skills. Tonight we actually have 20 volunteers here. Um, so we'll have a look at some of the projects that the volunteers are working on. Zach is working on a gate with a lot of mentoring from Darcy. Um, and Taylor has also been contributing to preparing the steel and fabrication of that gate. We'll explain where that gate goes. All right, so this is the uh, western facing side of where the K177 boiler is. A critical thing that happens here is all the weather comes from the west uh, and affects what we're doing on the boiler. So one of the projects we talked about briefly before is we're fabricating two gates to clear this space. So young Zach with some tutelage and mentoring is manufacturing this gate from steel we've purchased and we're hoping that's going to help us when we eventually have to do welding inside this boiler, stop a bit of the wind, dust and weather affecting the welds. In the smoke box here we've got Jeff, he's actually made a jig so we can drill out the broken studs on the superheater header there. Um, We've purchased some new studs uh, and necessary drills and cuts to do it. So just making great progress in replacing the studs. Um, we figured we'd do this job now on K163. There's a few studs and it makes it really hard to assemble all the baffles neatly and repetitively. It's just unfortunate on all, well most steam trains, the smoke boxes um, faces a lot of wear from all the ash and cinder cutting. So hopefully if we do this work now, hold us in good stead moving into the future. Sam and Steve, some of our younger volunteers, are working on replacing the baffles. So they've cut out the steel. Um, the tricky thing with Meridoc is we don't always have all the tools we need. So their next job as well is to make a tool that will allow us to bend so we can bend and weld the baffles on the smoke box door in the back here. So Sam and Steve are doing a brilliant job there and well on the way to fixing the baffles. I'm uh, Richard, one of the volunteers on the K177 project and what we've got in front of us is part of the uh, smoke deflector for the locomotive that we're currently putting primer on. Uh, it also needs a bit of metal work uh, before it's finished uh, and it'll look really good I guess on a finished locomotive. Alright, um, excellent, that's the update for now. Um, if you're interested in volunteering, we're volunteering every Wednesday night at the Miradak uh, Station Complex Workshop Extraordinaire. Um, we'll put the information in the description of how to join up to be a member and a volunteer and if you think there's any way you can help contribute to this project, uh, please reach out, join up as a volunteer and thank you very much for listening to this update.